start with Brooke Rogers, who spoke to one local woman about what the president's decision could mean for her family. Brooke? Well, Doug and Gilma, these images from Syria hit local military families especially hard. Their first thought, what it could mean for the fate of their loved ones. Oh, as children and grandchildren go to war. Betty Matthews is a Blue Star mother and grandmother, which means U.S. military action is tied directly to her heartstrings. One granddaughter is still in service. Grandson is uh, just returned from being deployed in Kuwait and is stationed here in the U.S. So when she heard about last night's missile strike in Syria, her thoughts quickly turned to her loved ones in uniform. I was a little bit upset knowing that it could lead to other things, but I support our government. It's a feeling she knows well. Her family's service spans four generations, dating back to World War I, but she never really get used to it. It's hard. It's very hard sometimes. No one could lose a child, could lose a grandchild. And I worry about our kids and grandkids. In times like these, she says she relies on her network of local military families. Hold each other's hands and pray and for each other's kids and grandkids. And on her faith. I leave it up to God. I have to turn it over, otherwise I would be a nervous wreck. Every time something in the world happens that's going to directly affect my children. And Matthew's advice to other concerned military families get involved. She helps with local military outreach. She also sends boxes and Christmas stockings to troops overseas.